Good day, dear learners. Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Doc Gilma. Are you ready, class, for the next lesson? So if you're ready, just sit back, relax, and listen carefully to the topic to be discussed for today. All right, class, let's begin. The topic I will be discussing for today's lesson is all about factoring quadratic trinomials. Before we're going to discuss the topic for today, let's have first a simple warm-up please. Number one, which pair of factors of 10 has a sum of 7? That's right, it's 5 and 2. 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 plus 2 is 7. How about number 2? Which pair of factors of negative 45 has a sum of negative 4? That's right! It's negative 9 and 5. Negative 9 times 5 is negative 45. And negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. Let's have number 3. Multiply x plus 8 and x plus 4. That's right. We have x squared plus 12x plus 32. Since x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x plus 8 times x is 8x. Get the sum. We have 12x. 8 times 4 is 32. Number 4, multiply y plus 7 and y minus 6. That's right. We have y squared plus y minus 42. Since y times y is y squared, negative 6 times y is negative 6y plus 7 times y is 7y. So we have plus y. 7 times negative 6 is negative 42. This time, we're going to factor quadratic trinomials. Consider illustrative example number 1. Factor the following completely. x squared plus 10x plus 21. The first thing we have to do here, class, is to determine the factors of x squared. So we have x times x, and the factors of 21, we have 7 and 3. From here, we have to get the product of x and 7. So we have 7x. The product of 3 and x is 3x. Get the sum. This is simply equal to 10x which is just the middle term. From here, we can be able to get the factors of x squared plus 10x plus 21. We consider x and positive 7 as the first binomial factor. x and positive 3 as the second binomial factor. So from here, we have quantity x plus 7 and quantity x plus 3 as the factors of x squared plus 10x plus 21. Consider illustrative example number 2. Factor the following completely. We have x squared minus 9x minus 22. Again, let's determine the factors of x squared which is our first term. So we have x by x and the factors of negative 22. So we have negative 11 and positive 2. Get the product of x and negative 11. So we have negative 11x. The product of x and 2. So we have 2x. Get the sum. We have negative 11x plus 2x 
is simply equal to negative 9x, which is just the middle term. From here, we can be able to get the factors of x squared minus 9x minus 22. Let's consider x and negative 11 as the first binomial factor and x and positive 2 as the second binomial factor. So from here we have x minus 11 quantity times the quantity x plus 2 as the factors of x squared minus 9x minus 22. Consider illustrative example number 3. Factor the following completely. 3x squared plus 11x minus 4. Again, let's determine the factors of the first term and the last term. So we have 3x by x and negative 1 by 4. Get the product of x and negative 1. So we have negative x. Get the product of 3x and 4. So we have 12x. Get the sum of negative x and 12x. So we have 11x. This is simply our middle term. So from here, we can be able to get the factors of 3x squared plus 11x minus 4. Let's consider 3x and negative 1 as the first binomial factor. x and positive 4 as the second binomial factor. So from here, we have quantity 3x minus 1 and quantity x plus 4 as the factors of 3x squared plus 11x minus 4. Consider illustrative example number 4. Factor the following completely. 7x squared plus 23x plus 6. Again, let's consider the factors of 7x squared. So we have 7x times x. And the factors of 6, we have 2 and 3. Get the product of x and 2. So we have 2x. The product of 7x and 3. So we have 21x. Get the sum of 2x and 21x. So we have 23x, which is simply our middle term. From here, we can be able to get the factors of 7x squared plus 23x plus 6. Let's consider 7x and positive 2 as the first binomial factor and x and positive 3 as the second binomial factor. So from here, we have quantity 7x plus 2 times quantity x plus 3 as the factors of 7x squared plus 23x plus 6. Before we end our discussion for today, let me first discuss to you a simple passage from the Bible. Coming from the book of Psalm, chapter 91, verse 1. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of of the Almighty. Take note class. Skills are developed through constant correct practice and there will always be a room for improvement. That's all for today. Stand by for more lessons. Stay safe everyone and may God bless us all.